Put your shoulders back like this. Put your neck up and and turn it while that and let it pop. Boy, you're, you could cut a piece of paper with that Adam's apple. That is, I think you need to see a doctor over that thing. Deep in the cavern of forgotten dreams, a single drop of drool from a hungry man who was about to begin a hot dog eating contest fell. Into the secret center of the inevitable goo, germinating the fairy of new beginnings, and subsequently conceiving the mythical show with Rat and Link. On this week's show, Taylor Swift, a caption fail. This is science with Rusty and Arnold. June holidays in a hot tub with Thomas Lennon. A special birthday song for Link, and more. And now, here are Rhett and Link. Welcome to the Mythical Show. Your half hour of not having to click around on the internet. I made a purchase recently, and I want to discuss it with you and the Mythical Beast. First of all, I'm going on record, you like to make purchases. I don't even think it matters what it is. I just think something about your personality. I console myself with you, shopping. Yeah. Because you're su such a sad human being, you're not sad. No, no, my wife was why, at, my why wife do you was need out to of town. Yourself? My wife was out of town. It was boy. We call it boy time. That's me and my two boys. Okay, it's boy time. <laughs> I need to console myself, boys. I'm gonna buy a bike. No, 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 they needed a bike. Shepard needed a bike. Locke needed a bike. I wanted a bike because I have a mountain bike, but, but was, you don't ride because your back is messed up. Right. So I was like, I need a street bike. So I got like a, a street bike. Like a motorcycle. I got a picture of it for you right here. This is a neon wheeled bike. I chose those wheels. They said you can have any color wheel you want. I was like, give me the neon green one. I'm just gonna go ahead and admit any of you that are into this fixed gear biking thing, you don't have brakes. Uh, I have, not only do I have brakes, I have front and back brakes. I have it set up as a free wheel bike because I wouldn't know what to do if it just kept going. So you're And I wear a helmet. What? Sue me. So you're a poser. The way you're supposed to do it, Ben, you've got one of these. It's the you're supposed to brake with the gears. There's not supposed to be any brakes. Mm -hmm. And so you're going against that. You're not supposed to wear a helmet either. Well, all the cool kids don't wear helmets. They wear they don't wear helmets and they wear like flip flops and they don't have brakes. I'm not gonna do that. I've got like on high tops. I've got a helmet. You wearing like basketball shoes? Yeah, just so my ankles don't get caught up in the chain. You're joking. You don't have any high tops. I'm sure you look awesome. But my, look at that giant on the bike with the neon wheels. The, my helmet had a cover on it, and then the cover came off. So now I just have the styrofoam part, <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of hipster. You know, yeah. if a hipster were to wear a helmet to go with that bike, it would be a just a styro. It would be. It's like wearing a cooler on. That's your head. what I thought. Like one of those cheap coolers you can get at the convenience store. Well, that's what I thought. But Locke was like, Dad, I don't want to go out with you with that thing on. So I was like, son, he's this nine is years cool. old, this and is he doesn't cool. want to associate well, himself with it. You can you. see the straps come around my neck, around my face, and then they go up, and then they come out on the top of the helmet. Like you can see where the, the straps are strapped into the top of the helmet, and it's just styrofoam. I so, thought it looked pretty cool. So it looks like, can I see a picture of this right yeah. now? Yep. Oh, here's a picture of it. <laughs> Jesse was like, um, I need some raspberry liqueur for this. Um, uh, recipe I'm doing for the sauce I'm putting on this thing. And I was like, well, let me go get that for you. I put on my helmet and my backpack. Oh, so you're not constantly wearing the helmet just around the house? No, no. And I and I was like a courier. What do you call those guys? that Courier. Yeah, I was like a courier. And I got out on the four-lane highway, Van Nuys Boulevard, and I'm in traffic. I'm just making that noise with your mouth. Yeah. Look at the dude with the cooler on his head making the <laughs> bike noises with his mouth as he pedals. And I gotta admit, this is the first time I've ever done this. I've never actually been in traffic on a bicycle. I mean, I was like, I got up to a, a, a road where I had to take a left, and I was like, what am I supposed to do? And I was tempted to just go to the side and wait for the light to change and then go across like a pedestrian. But You're supposed like, to be a car. I was like, screw this. I'm going to get in the left lane. And I was the first guy in the left lane with my backpack and my helmet <laughs> and then my green wheeled bicycle. And then I started getting kind of self-conscious at that point. Oh, really? I was like, and I was like, hold on, let me get my feet right so when it turns green, I can go. And then I, I it turns green and I start going and they start honking at me. <laughs> well, you're, but this, I, but. You're not a car, dude. I, I know, but it's, I'm doing what bicyclers are supposed to do. I'm acting like a car. Did you turn around and 
Give him. I flipped give him. him the, a, I flipped him the bird. A symbol? No, I didn't flip him the bird. I was like, okay, it's okay. I'm learning. I'm new to this. Well, yeah, I mean, it's. I, I imagine it would be scary. I just stick to like mountain bike trails and stuff like that. Yeah. Because no I have encountered bicyclists, and Ben, I know that you've told me about this too. You'll be driving around, and there'll be like someone, like someone coming by, and you think they're gonna pull out, and you do this. Is that they will. The pedestrian or the bicyclist will see that you're about to pull out and hit you, mm -hmm. the, the car driver. Yeah. And they will hit the top of the car. Yeah, that's what I do. Last week, Christy was pulling out of the grocery store. She was looking left, and somebody was going by on a bike, and they knew that she was going to pull out, and they hit the top of her car and started yelling at her. I'm going to start doing that. That's what you got to have that much confidence. Take that styrofoam helmet off and just like throw it at like a woman in her minivan. Okay. <laughs> hey! I don't think you should get rid of your helmet. I think. Watch it! I think I can. I can reach. All right, let's keep this show moving. What are we doing next? Caption fail? Yeah, time for another caption fail, this time with Taylor Swift songs. Oh, yeah. We sang some of Taylor Swift's most popular songs. And let YouTube's automatic closed caption tool translate them. These are the lyrics we got back. Also part-time, do respects to go. I was in your science, you got me at all. You fair homie, you plan on me. You ban only the E, 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 baby. An angel, and he snakes to me. In Armenia, one is only. I knew you were troubled when you walked in. So machine mommy, now I'll blue me defeated and never paying. Na 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 na, cold war now. The scheme for action I swear teachers Steve cheer captain and In our motto bleachers Period up to date When you wake up and find What they're electing for days Has been here the hometown If you to stream that Ah, ah, ah Who understand you Prepare all outlaws So arcane team singing You gnome with me You're a gnome with me Sunday Out in the process, it's a slow story. Baby, suggest yes. Ooh, 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 ooh. We caught up with the entire snack, but ooh, 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 ooh. there's ten. And every year I'm giving, we, we are never ever hearing in that together way. Me, every ever, never. To Matt Friends Tile Domain But we are never, ever, ever, ever Hitting Ant Kidders Enigma Breakthrough Technology Yeah, you can't cut me off like that It's rapid fire, man Have you ever seen Bill, Bill ride a science man? I'm Arnold Jernigan Sr. And I'm R.R. Or Barefoot. Bodily excretions are not typically an acceptable topic of public conversation, but fake bodily excretions, totally fair game. Today, we are going to concoct fake snot, mucus, nasal discharge. But first, it's time to bring out our scientist in training. Uh, what's your name? Cameron. 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 Limp fish, that's good. I like your vest, man. Thanks. What does it say about you? Well, it says that you're a dapper young child. Say that. Say, well, I'm a dapper young child. I'm a dapper young child. Do you like science? I've always wanted to be a pilot and a scientist. Are you a plane man or a helicopter man? Plane man. What? You know what? It's smart what? to want to fly planes and not choppers. Why? Cousin Roy. He got that helicopter made out of a kit. He died at the age of 38. God rest his soul. Let's I, not talk about it. I think he deserved it. I said that at his funeral when they asked me to speak. 
I know, I was embarrassed. I walked out the back, but I had a date. I took it with me. We went to Hardy's, got a chicken sandwich, forgot all about the whole endeavor until you brought it up right now. Have you ever heard of snot? Yes. What is it? It's boogers. You eat it, don't you? <laughs> yes, I, that's what I do. Yep. You eat your own snot? So do I. Do you want to make snot or not? I want to make snot. It sounds awesome, right? Can you say it with more vigor? I want to make snot. I want to make snot! You know what? You say I want to make snot. I want to make snot! The thing I don't understand is we're dealing with a young man that eats his own snot, but now we're going to make snot and we're putting goggles on him. Well, he doesn't eat it with his eyes, does he? That's a good point. I want you to fill up this, this glass of water here one-third of the way. Stop. You went too far. All right. Listen, if you want to be a pilot, you got to learn about precision, son. You're going to be like my cousin Roy. He died in a helicopter crash. All right, son. Now, this is a, an important step. We got gelatin. You know what's in gelatin? It's ground up cow and pig parts. Stir that up, pilot. Now listen here, Ace. We gotta wait 20 to 30 minutes. How many minutes do you think it's been? It'll be about 12. Yes. Son, you got a time warp. You wanna make up a song? No. You know any songs? This is how we do it. It's Friday night. I don't know the, I don't know the That's ideas. the best part anyway. We're gonna add the sugar, which is corn syrup. And this is real good for you. It puts lots of your snacks and stuff. Give it all you got. Oh, that's good right there. There's a go. Oh, look at that, Cameron. Mm. Does that look like anything that's ever come out of your head? Yes. Makes you hungry, don't it? What? Don't you think you should eat it? Come on. I'm not a kid. I'm not the one who eats my own boogers. Try it. I'm not the one who admitted Try that. Try it. That wasn't so bad, was it? You might say, this is nasty. But we might say, this, this is, is science. science. And I'd like to dedicate this episode to our late cousin. What was his name? Roy. Roy, yep. I still believe he deserves to be dead. This is for you, Roy. The mythical male boulder widens. This week, we got among many other things, tiny horses, a zebra, and a dog from Katy in Urbana, Ohio, Red Link Money Men from Tyler in Manilas, New York, bacon soap from Sarah in Texas, and glasses from Aaron in Ontario, Canada. Want to mail us something? Visit facebook.com slash retinlink for more information. Thank you. There's a holiday for every day in the month of June. Now, you could celebrate each holiday as it comes, or you can do like we're about to do and celebrate them all in one sitting, back to back to back. Let's go. Flip a coin day. Actually, June 1st is also my birthday. Oh, I got you a nickel. <laughs> National Rocky Road Day. Hey, it's a good thing we still have this Rocky Road left over from when we celebrated my birthday like uh, a second ago. <laughs> mm. I love Rocky Road. National Repeat Day. National Repeat Day? National Repeat Day? National Repeat Day. National Repeat Day. National Repeat Day. Embarrassing Ailments Day. I have psoriasis. And I have hemorrhoids. Let's, Let's celebrate. celebrate! Fly a kite day. Oh, Dad, I love having to spend time with you. Get your kite in the air, son! Don't Dad. disappoint me and get your kite in the air! It's hard, Dad. Ah, I knew we shouldn't have adopted you. National Gardening Exercise Day. <laughs> One, ah. two. Uh, oh, feel the burn of gardening? What? I'm gonna get a green bicep. <laughs> Accordion Lover's Day. <laughs> I didn't know you loved accordions. You don't know everything about me. Best Friends Day. Red, I wanna let you know, you are my best friend. You're like in my top five. Just kidding, you're in my top three. <laughs> strawberry rhubarb pie day. Oh, you know what I love? A good strawberry, strawberry rhubarb, rhubarb pie. pie. Ice tea day. Mm. Boy, it sure is hot out here. I'm glad we got some iced tea that we can be drinking yeah, right wash, about now. Wash down that pie. I love drinking Ooh. tea with each other. Hug holiday. Rhubarb though. 
Deadly. Are they not? You got a lot of room. Oh, oh. oh well, let me give you a hug. What are the neighbors going to think? <laughs> that we shouldn't be hugging in public. <laughs> it's just hot okay. out here. We Spoonful of hugging. sugar day. Let go. Okay. You, can, you can stop hugging I, now. I tried to, son. <laughs> oh, let me take my medicine. Oh, I'm having trouble getting it to go down. I got something to help you go down. <laughs> <laughs> Juggly day. <laughs> Man, I gotta take the kids to school. I gotta do this laundry. I gotta bake this pie. I'm really glad it's already done. <laughs> I get it. World Blood Donor Day. Blink, I feel horrible about not, not, not getting you very much for Christmas. I mean, for your birthday. So, hold on. I got you something. I got you some blood. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna faint. Yep. National Hollering Contest Day! Sweet! Piggy, piggy, piggy! Sweet! <laughs> what happened? We were doing the holidays, all the holidays in June. Father's Day! Got our dads on speakerphone here. Hey dad, I want you to know I love you and happy Father's Day. Thank you, son. Hey dad, I want to let you know that I love you more than Rhett loves his dad. Who is this? Uh, Sorry, gotta go celebrate my other holiday. Eat your vegetables day. Oh, I'm gonna eat this sweet oh, cupcake. Not before you eat your vegetables. Go fishing day. Oh, the weather is beautiful. Oh, yeah, perfect day for fishing. Yeah. Why you cast a fishing rod? I got rod. this new rod. Cast it. I got one. Oh, reel it in. Hey, guys, it's also International Panic Day. Ah, oh, shut up! Panic! Eat an Oreo day. Oh, you know what I could really use right now? Some Oreos. Um, it's eat an Oreo. Okay. Ice cream soda day. Oh. Good. Watch your Oreos down. <laughs> you look like you got shot. <laughs> you look like you've been in a hunting accident. <laughs> you come here often? Fly swatting day. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh. Ah, I miss him. Got him. Soap microphone day. Islands in the stream, that is what we are. No one in between, how can we be wrong? Poop out early day. You know, I'm tired of this. I'm gonna poop out early. <laughs> is that what that means? I guess. Well, I'm so sad that Rhett just pooped out early. There's only one thing that could cheer me up right now. Creamy praline day. Creamy pralines. Oh, so creamy and praline -y. Log cabin day. I spent some time out in the wilderness. And I built a cabin, a log cabin. Oh yeah? Let me see it. Check it out, dude. Not quite what I expected. Beautician's day. While you were gone, I got a degree in being a beautician. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. You wrap that around your head, and then we put, <laughs> put this here, and then we put this on your, on your lips. <laughs> this is real stupid. <laughs> Take a look at yourself. I look horrible. Sunglasses day. Yeah, where are these? No one will ever recognize you. Great American Backyard Campout. Let's go camping. I love camping with you, Charles. S'more time. Camera day. Oh, look at those gross. We should capture this moment. <laughs> yeah, you should eat that. <laughs> okay, give me some of them. Give me some. Put I the want, camera over here. I want some of them marshmallows. <laughs> Meteor day. Hmm. <laughs> what is that darkening the sun? I don't know. Is it an asteroid? No, asteroids don't come to Earth. Meteors come to Earth. Ah! Oh, I just caught it. Well, I'll be. That's a first. Not even hot. And, and that's, that's all the holidays, holidays in June! <laughs> wow. That was great. You know him as Lieutenant Dangle from Reno 911. You know you're driving, right? Ah! Ah! And he's also the writer of your favorite movies about nights at museums, Night of the Museum. And we sat down with him in a hot tub. Thomas Lennon. How are you? Sorry, I'm just, just getting back into gum. I was enjoying it right at the moment when you asked me how I was doing. <laughs> You've been away from gum for I've a while? I've been away from gum for a little while, yeah. What you've been doing? Breath spray, sometimes. Oh, really? 
Can I? Yeah. Try you, if you make a low sound, it goes deeper. Uh, Lower? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really shouldn't have done such a low note. You okay? No, I'm good, yeah. yeah. You guys, I know your guys' names, but will you remind me which one's which? That's Rhett. Yeah, I'm Rhett. I'm Link. Do you want a I new, was hoping you would introduce me. Do you want a mnemonic device? Is that what you said? Mnemonic. So what kind of magnetic device do you have for me to remember? Uh, I think it will be a song. Will be the, that's how I memorize oh, that's good. things. So you, we need we need to sing our names. I'll drop, let me drop a beat then for you. Okay. Nineteen eighty nine. Here comes. Well, my name is Lynx. I'm sitting tight, keeping it warm. And to my right is a guy. His name is something else. I'll let him sing it so he can tell you what. Lowest note ever. Can I ask a super a super weird question? Are you guys both wearing wigs or just one of you? Guess who? It's the weave. It's extensions. It's not a full extensions. Wig. Like you can feel where they meet your hair. Yeah. How many hours does it take to do? It takes a full weekend. But you don't do it in one sitting, though. You do it gradually. Well, I get my children to do it. So, can I have another hit of that thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. That's a really kind way of you to. It's a way about you to say, not that you have bad breath. Though. You from the south? No. Do you think we sound like rednecks? Yes. Yeah. And it's not that you don't sound intelligent, and educated, but you do sound like dudes who would make tourists into jerky in some insane Mississippi shack, mountain shack. Now, usually when you begin sweating like I am, which is pretty profusely, it, your body is telling you that... You're giving yourself a fever. Right, yeah, yeah. right. So, at yeah. what point do I begin actually cooking? Pretty soon. Pretty soon. It'll be too late by the time you really notice it. It'll probably be too late. You're, but, you're but, hoping but we lost can, for you. But then yeah. we can eat you. I really love you guys. Yeah, I, this has been real. Yeah. You know, people who have been like hostages somewhere, had a sane experience. I just feel, I kind of feel that with you guys. So we should like, stay in touch? Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot of times when you've been through a traumatic experience like that, then you try to be friends afterwards, and you're like, It doesn't well, work out. You know, it doesn't work out, it didn't work out. Nah. No. It was right. better yeah, when we were chained up to that radiator. Right. Yeah. So let's just not talk again. Let's not. I'm gonna go under if you guys want. All right. You know what though? I will follow you on Instagram, maybe, okay? That'll do. Does that sound good? Love it. Great. Thank you to Thomas Lennon for being on the show. Why don't you tweet at him, Mythical Beast? Tweet at him and thank him for being on the Mythical Show. We are sincerely thankful. Um, listen, last week we issued a challenge called the Cicada Challenge, and I'm just going to go ahead and say right now that Rhett issued... Were you... Rhett issued the challenge, and uh, none of you guys have responded yet, and I, it must be because the cicadas aren't out, or I'm sure you would have been eating them in droves and making video responses. It's still not too late. You should do that. Come on, people. If you don't want to eat it, just act like you're eating it. If you don't want to act like you're eating it, just take a video of yourself like making a pet out of one. I don't know. Just do something. Come on. Work with us here. Do like a pseudo ch challenge for the cicada thingy, you know? Happy birthday, Link. Thank you. I almost said happy birthday back. You know how when someone says happy birthday, happy you don't birthday know what to, to say. You. Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. It's not my birthday, but it is your birthday. So what? June 1st. I wrote you a song. You've written me a song don't here? Read, don't read it. I just wrote it yesterday, and it took about five minutes. So I don't I, I don't have it memorized. I'm going to have to read it. I hope that doesn't mean any less to you. You got some rhubarb right there. I'm glad that you've done this, I think. This is for my birthday. Never done this before, right? Thank you. We've been friends for 30 years And I'm not always the best At bringing you birthday cheer In fact, most years I don't even get you a gift Well, this year I'm giving you An awesome guitar riff The 
that's a guitar riff. It also doubles as your birthday gift. You like it? Thank you. It's a little it's long. It's your birthday gift. It also doubles as a guitar riff. I heard that already. You sang it earlier. Word. <laughs> Work. Hold on, what, one second before you do the second. No, oh no, I want to keep going. This is like a western. This is like a minor key western thing. It could be a jingle for like dog food it's or something. It's dark. We've been no, working together. We see a lot of each other. It's true. You might say it's almost like we're brothers. Okay. And just like family, we sometimes fight. And I'll admit that at least ten percent of the time. You are right, it's your birthday. You didn't practice this. You're 35. Yes, I am. I, I admit it. And that's halfway to 70. And 70 is when you die. 70 is when you die. I got a second verse. So live it up. I think this is the third verse. And do what you please. Cause in 10 years, you're gonna have to replace both of your knees. Enjoy this here birthday song. Cause in the overall scheme of things, brother, you don't have long. It's your birthday. You're 35. And that's halfway to 70. And 70's when you'll die. 70s when you'll die. It's kind of depressing. To, I want you to sing it in first person. It's my birthday. Yeah, I got the lyrics right there. It's my birthday. I'm 35. No, 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 no. It's my birthday. I'm 35. That's it. You start. It's my birthday. Yeah, you're 35. That's half of 70. And 70s when I die. Wait, it's more like this. 70. And that's, seven, that's, that's half of 70. And then what? 70s when you die. 70s when he will die. die. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you, Rat. It's the it's the thought that counts. I mean, you could have practiced it a little ahead of time. I just wrote it in a, uh, on a whim, man. I care. Let's spin the mega wheel of mythicality and see where I, it lands. I care about you. This is how we end the episode. Cicada challenge, people, for my birthday. Angry customers at a restaurant. Garcon, can we get a little more rhubarb pie over here? Uh, We've gone through two of them. So we ordered four. I didn't order. Food with my salt. Hello? Well, what I meant to say was, I didn't order food with my salt. How should I have said that? Mm. You're not Too much salt on my food, sarcastic remark here. You're not getting a tip. I didn't order food with salt. We're going to poop food. out early. I didn't. I would have liked some food with my salt. I would have liked some food with my salt! Bodily excretions are not typically an acceptable topic of public conversation. But fake bodily excretions, totally fair game. You're supposed to ask me what I'm doing. What are you doing? Acting like I'm farting. We're gonna add it in post. The main thing I'm saying is I don't think you should fart throughout my line. I know. I think you should wait for a space and fill it with a fart. <laughs> Bodily excretions are not typically an acceptable topic of public conversation. But, no, that's not where you do it. You wait for me to say, but fake bodily excretions, totally fair game. Man. I'm you sorry, I thought I was going to scatter one in there earlier. Scatter shot. My butt holds like a shotgun. Bodily excretions are not typically an acceptable topic of public conversation. But fake bodily excretions, totally fair game. <laughs> I could actually do a real one. <laughs> what was that with your boot? Do that again. It was. Can't do it again. It was just fate. It's the kind of thing that happens once.
like an angel, an angel passing gas. Bodily excretions are not typically an acceptable topic of public conversation, but fake bodily excretions, totally fair game. <laughs> what are you doing? You gotta be, <laughs> you gotta be a little bit subtle about it. Bodily excretions are not typically an acceptable topic of public conversation, but fake bodily. <laughs> Bodily excretions are not typically an acceptable topic of public conversation, but fake bodily excretions, totally fair game. It's still your line. Boy, professionalism has escaped us.